Look, it's a turtle. Focus. Oh, how cute. Ooh, camera quality A1. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, this is my view. This is where I'm filming currently in Miami, Florida live. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, be sure and hit that subscribe button. So today we're in a new setting. Well, not really new. I filmed a video out here before, but last time it got super dark, super quick. Um, I'm just sitting out in the front patio, and as you guys can tell by the title of this video, I wanted to give my story on why I wanted to become a flight attendant. <clears throat> uh, I know a lot of my friends and my family are like, why do you want to be a flight attendant? <laughs> but here's my story. If you guys are interested, just keep watching. All right, so let's go, let's go way, way back. So let's, well, not even way, way back, but in high school, which was... Like, wow, I graduated four years ago. I can't believe it's almost been four years since I've graduated from high school. <clears throat> but yeah, in high school, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. Like, I've always wanted to model, but I knew I had to be realistic and figure out what career I wanted to get into. So in high school, um, I knew like I wanted to do something with business. That's all I really knew. And once I graduated, I attended a community college, and then I was like, you know what, I still don't really know what I want to do, but I'm going to figure it out eventually. So I started community college, and I was there for like, I literally just graduated. Um, but yeah, I got my AA in hospitality. At first I had my business major, and then I changed it over to hospitality, because I just really love like, working events and I thought about event planning but then I figured that's like so 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 much work um, but yeah I narrowed it down I knew that I either wanted to work in hotels or the airport so with hotels you know there's events there's event planning there's like the catering department there's being a manager there's front desk like there's so many different departments working at hotels you know if you work at the airport I thought of flight attending um, I didn't really know much about it and I didn't think about it deeply I was just like airports flight attending uh, it was just an idea in my head and then I started being a lifeguard I started working at a pool in Tampa and it was just kind of an idea in my head and it's funny because I started teaching this little girl um, she was three so yeah I started teaching a three-year-old and I taught her every week, either once or twice a week for about six months, I would say, I taught her swim lessons. And her mom was a flight attendant, so I would be so excited every time her mom would come. Um, uh, she would tell me about her job, she works for Delta, and she would just tell me how much she loves it, and she started when she was my age, well she started when she was 23, and she's in her 40s now, so she's a senior mama. And she loves it and she has two kids and it's funny because when I thought about flight attending one of the things I kind of made me not want to be in this industry well I'm not in it completely yet but one of the things that kind of set me off was I seriously thought that you couldn't have a family while being a flight attendant because I thought like you're always on the go you're never home you know how could someone have a kid and have a family while being a flight attendant but just seeing and hearing her stories it was possible and so, you know, she would always tell me different things, her stories, where, how her training went and all that. And she's like, yeah, you should apply. I knew that I had to be 21 and I needed a passport. And at the time, I didn't have either, either one of those. So at that time, I didn't even do research on it. I just knew being a flight attendant was an idea. There was also um, one of my favorite seniors that swam at the pool every single day. Literally every single day she was there and uh, I love talking to her because there's just so many stories she had. I'm a big listener, like people that I just meet, they'll literally tell me their life story just meeting me, not even knowing my name. And then at the end I'm like, hey, I'm Nina, what's your name? Um, so I really love hearing different stories. And so this woman, she told me that her daughter used to be a flight attendant. 
and she was like, yeah, we went to, we traveled to Bangkok, we went here, we went there, and um, she was like, yeah, we traveled all over, it was a really fun time, and she's not a flight attendant anymore, she actually, she's like a stay-at-home mom, her daughter, but her husband is a pilot, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so it's like I had this woman that was telling me her daughter was a flight attendant and loved it, and then I had... Um, you know, the woman who works at Delta, she worked for over 20 years and she still loves her job. And that's something that was super important to me. I want to be in a career that I love my job. I'm not working, you know, 9 to 5 and I completely hate it. Some people work a 9 to 5 and completely love it. But one thing I knew for sure is I wanted a career that I loved my job. And I made, like, decent money. So fast forward to this past October when I actually started applying, um, I had my passport and I was 21 uh, and then let's just say something happened where I was just like, I need to do this, you know, I say that I want to be a flight attendant, I need to apply, I need to not let anything stop me from doing what I want to do. So that's when I really started watching a ton of YouTube videos to really do my research on what flight attendants lives are like and what it's all about because it is a lifestyle so I did my research and I finally started applying I first applied to Delta I applied literally everywhere well I applied to six airlines to be exact so overall why I want to become a flight attendant is because I want to travel obviously like who wouldn't want to travel the world um, for free pretty much if you're a flight attendant you could travel for free except for internationally I believe but yeah, I want to see the world, I want to meet new people, new experiences, try new foods, all of that. And also, ultimately, work for a company that I'm happy, like I'm happy to wake up and go to work each and every day. And through watching so many YouTube videos and speaking to various different flight attendants, they're genuinely happy working and being a flight attendant. So that's what I'm super excited for. Um, I also ended up from the time I started lifeguarding till now. So I met the one that I used to teach her daughter some lessons, and then I also met another swimmer who used to come, and he was a flight attendant, well he is a flight attendant for American Airlines. And same thing, he's actually in his like 60s, I think, no. I don't know, between 40 and 50. And he's a flight attendant for American, and same thing, he loves his job, and he's actually based in Tampa, well no. He's based in Miami here, but he lives in Tampa. And that was another thing that was confusing for me at the time when I started doing my research and meeting these flight attendants. Uh, the mom that I used to teach her daughter some lessons, she worked for Delta. She was based in Atlanta, but she lived in Tampa. So I was like, how can you, you know, your job is over here, but you live here. So I thought that was another cool thing. Like you can be based in one area, but you can live pretty much wherever you want. So now on to the part of what I said in my face-to-face -face interviews because like I've said countless times, the two very most important questions I believe is why you want to become a flight attendant and why you want to become a flight attendant for the airline that you're applying for. So pretty much what I said was, I'm going to try to remember what I said verbatim. So I pretty much said, you know, when the idea first came to my head, it was because I met a flight attendant. I used to teach her daughter swim lessons at the pool that I used to lifeguard at. And at the time I wasn't 21 and I didn't have my passport so I couldn't apply. But once I had my passport and I was 21, I did tons and tons and tons of research. That's when I started applying and ultimately I want to work for a company that makes me happy just like the flight attendants that I've met along the way. They love their job whether they just started or they've been in their company for 20 years. They enjoy going to work and I said that was super important to me. And then I think I also mentioned, um, I think I also mentioned a little bit about like meeting new people and helping others but I didn't go too much into like traveling or um, What's another thing? Or saying, you know, I just want to help people and all of that because they know that you want to travel. Like that's that's like a given. Everyone who becomes a flight attendant, one of the main reasons why they want to is because of traveling. So you don't want to say that. You want to have a little bit of more a unique answer. So I definitely think my answer is super unique. I don't think many people met a flight attendant while teaching a little girl, I don't know. 
so that's pretty much what I said and yeah I mean I hope this video is somewhat helpful but I also wanted to just give my insight and my story on why I personally want to become a flight attendant um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and one more thing before I go I had a question for you guys I want to know if I should cut my hair I really want to cut my hair but I don't know so this is how long my hair is I cut it like up to here a few months ago and I kind of want to go back to that short haircut. I'll leave pictures here of what I'm trying to go for. Um, comment down below if you guys think that I should cut my hair or not. I just feel like this is an awkward length. Like I either want my hair super long or super short. So comment down below what you guys think. I'm the type of person who loves to constantly change my hair. Like honestly, if I wasn't applying to be a flight attendant, my hair would be like purple. Um, so yeah, what do you guys think? Should I cut it? Should I leave it alone? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment, no, yeah, subscribe, comment, do all that. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, I'm just back at it, Betty, oh Betty